where there's sun, there's power. And our next guest wants to provide you with unlimited power for life. You can't beat that. Um, that got our attention uh, for the ability to uh, work and play and, and just and live for life. Uh, he is, in fact, a family adventurer and president of Goal Zero. Joe Atkin. Joe, welcome into tomorrow. Uh, thanks, Dave. I like that whole concept of providing me power for life and work and play. Mm -hmm. Pretty much anything we need to do. And when we get into some of the things we're going to talk about, you've got us covered. <laughs> yeah. Our job is to power people. So we empower our customers. We empower our employees. And uh, that's kind of our business. Oh, so. And you do it well because some of the things that we've chatted about off the air, and I've seen your exhibit where there's so much to cover. I mean, you can take care of a refrigerator for me. You can power a television because if I have no power, I certainly want to still be able to use my TV and DVR <laughs> because without entertainment, what have we got? Right? That's right. Uh, there's just so much uh, of an ability to do some unique things. For example, right out of the box, tell me about the Yeti. Uh, rumor has it a little too big to bring to our broadcast studio here at IFA. Yeah. It's, got, it's on wheels, but this thing will keep my fridge going, for example? Yeah, so we just launched the Yeti in May. It's been under development uh, for four years. We developed, actually, uh, the concept in Africa. And the whole like, idea was to basically power a home. Uh, wow. and a, in a portable way and so we and, we not, and not a gas generator or something right this is solar powered it's a solar charging. generator yeah yeah really I mean so it's uh, no noise no gas uh, so it's silent no fumes so it's safe so yeah. you can have it in your house your car uh, whatever and so we sell uh, we just launched it in May but it will power anything your wall will plus so refrigerators, hair dryers, TVs, DVDs, whatever. So even these things that just literally suck power, yeah. you know, compressors and refrigerators, a hair dryer, it's like a dead short. <laughs> I mean, if you're telling me you can hook up a, a toaster, another dead short that just right. sucks power, yep. your devices will power them. Yeah, anything that creates heat and cold is really difficult. Yeah. You know, it's, it takes a lot of power. But so what we've done is we've just created systems that, are, uh, that can handle that and um, what you can do is you can uh, recharge the battery systems with solar panels. And so you just get a few solar panels and you can keep it running pretty much all day. And so we sell to a lot of emergency preparedness folks who want to have a backup just in case. So folks in, in Miami. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, as Isaac threatened us, the, right the very day we were leaving to come to Berlin, didn't even know if we'd have a flight out. Uh, yeah. We all blew very hard westerly, the whole community. <laughs> and it worked because it blew it off to the coast a bit. Yeah. But there's exactly an example of folks that have any kind of natural disaster scenario or even the possibility to yeah. be prepared. Yeah. And then a Yeti, I'm told uh, by my producer, would power the fridge for two days? Yeah, especially here in Europe, right? So uh, the cool thing is, is the Yeti will power for two days, and if you want more, it's ch it's chainable system, and so you could add additional batteries to get it for four or six days or eight days, or and that's or with no sun. I was going to say, or if you have sun, then is it just recharging all along? Absolutely. So you could, you could do it every day. Wow. So, so how much would a Yeti cost someone uh, MS parking? Yeah, MSRP for a Yeti is 2000 bucks. Okay. $2,000. But that's so. still very realistic if you think in terms of a, of a other portable generator or something. And this is safer and quiet and all the, all the above. Right, and you don't need gas, right? So yeah. you have a 25-year uh, a, a life on the solar panels. That's all? So, <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of pays for itse itself, you know? Yeah, for sure. All right, but you brought something a bit smaller than the Yeti, which yeah. we can now show our radio audience by way of our videos at intotomorrow.com. <laughs> Tell me about the Extreme 350. Yeah, so the Extreme 350 is a little brother, and so it does a lot of the same things uh, that the Yeti will do, but it's about a third as powerful and a, a third of the capacity. And so instead of running a fridge maybe for two days, it might run it for eight or nine hours. Might uh, be just enough to keep the food from spoiling as yeah. you then begin to cook it or bring out the sterno or do yeah. what you got to do. Exactly. And then it will power, you know, your DVDs and videos. So a lot of photographers have been, been buying these systems because yeah. they're a little bit more portable as well. So. And how about keeping your cell phone charged, oh, especially man. after an emergency? And now at least the family can communicate, assuming towers are up and all that. Yeah. But you have that ability as well. And I'm sure this right. will handle that easily covered the family. Easily. Yeah. So it does lighting. We have our own uh, lighting systems. And you can run a cell phone 50 to 100 times off one of these. Jeez. So, yeah. All right. Now, if you don't get the Extreme 350, now you can go on to, is this called the Nomad? Is that what this yeah, is? Yeah. So this is the Guide 10 uh, Plus kit. Okay. And so this is our most popular product. Product. 
and it's really made for cell phones and smartphones. And what we've done here is we've, pr we've uh, produced a product that can charge a smartphone or cell phone in two to three hours instead of two or three days. Nice. Yeah, so. because other solar chargers, yeah, they will charge, but it's yeah. got to sit there in sunlight for a long time. Yeah. It's a little panel. Right. You've got two nice sized panels that kind of yeah. fold up with each other, and it's a very convenient carrying case. And then you've got a battery system yep. This comes with it, right? Yeah, so that way you can um, use your phone during the day and charges the battery during the day, and then you can use the battery at night to recharge your phone. Love it. Oh, my gosh. And what is this selling for? Uh, 159 in the market is the MSRP, and, and you can get it at like uh, REI, Lowe's, Cabela's, Bass Pro, Eastern Mountain Sports, pretty much any any major retailer you can find these now gotcha and not to be outdone with only solar related <laughs> things real fast because i know we're out of time we've got a goal zero speaker yeah this is the rock out speaker so once you create the power and you store it we're giving our consumers ways to use it and so this is an efficient way to power your tunes at a party it's uh, it runs for 20 hours on a charge 20 hours that's a party yeah <laughs> and it only it only takes 30 minutes to charge it with the, sol the solar panel nice or you can just charge it off of your computer or wall oh sure yeah it's got a usb cable in it, so yep. if, if you got that working, you you can certainly do it with that. If not, the Nomad will charge it, Absolutely. for example, and that sort of thing, or yeah. the Extreme 350, <laughs> or the Yeti for when you really need a lot of power. Whatever you've you got to check out GoalZero.com. It's G O A L Zero Z E R O dot com. We'll link you there. You'll see what Joe and his team are up to, and all the other cool products, including the ones that are too heavy to carry over to the booth. <laughs> check them all out at GoalZero.com. Visit us at IntoTomorrow.com. We'll get you there as well. Joe, thanks for spending a few minutes with us here at IFA. Thanks, Dave. Back with more from Berlin, Germany. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.